If you're watching this, you're probably scared to go to the gym. I know the feeling of like the social anxiety, comparing yourself to people in the gym, the fear that like you won't progress and like everyone's gonna be like looking at you. <laughs> Welcome back. So first of all, I wanted to apologize. I know this channel is not like a fitness channel. I'm supposed to be like doing something funny or like making you laugh or whatever. So if you're here for that, y'all can leave, okay? I just wanted to make this video because I get a lot of messages from people on Instagram or Snapchat or MySpace or Vine trying to get workout advice or like how to like bulk or cut or like how to start going to the gym and like what workouts they should do or like what do I do and like all that stuff. So maybe I'll start making more fitness videos. I don't know. I'm not like insanely shredded. I'm not Steve Cook. I'm not Jillian Smith. I'm not Steve Dilk. But it's something that I really do love. It's something that is a passion of mine. I do work out like five days a week. I try to. Uh, usually five days a week, yeah. <laughs> if you're watching this, you're probably scared to go to the gym. I know the feeling of like the social anxiety, comparing yourself to people in the gym, the fear that like you won't progress and like everyone's gonna be like looking at you. Everyone who has worked out in their life has gone through this to some degree, of course. Like when you first start, I feel like everybody's gonna have these thoughts no matter what. But just know that they're all bullshit, okay? It's not real, it's not even fucking a thing, okay? If those people on my 600 pound life can go to the gym, I promise you can do it too, sweetie. What got me into working out was three years ago, four years, I don't even know how long ago, this fucking douchebag broke up with me and I just like wanted a change in my life. I wanted to have like a lifestyle change. I wanted something that would like help me feel fulfilled and accomplished and stuff. And so I was like, I need to start going to the gym. I need to fucking start going, bitch. And so I got my friend Jacob to come with me to the gym to get a gym membership because I have bad social anxiety. I was living in a town when it was like all kids like my age that were all like at the gym, like college guys, and they're all fit, and I'm like this fucking scrawny little kid, okay? And that's probably my first tip is take a friend with you if you can to help you like feel more secure and comfortable. And you guys can like work out together if you want, or you can like get to the point where you're comfortable enough to start working out separately and do that. You know, that's like the hardest thing was just getting to the gym and getting a gym membership in my opinion. Cause then after you have the gym membership, you're paying for it and you almost feel like you have to go. <laughs> you know, it's kind of weird. So we started working out together. After about one or two months, uh, I don't know what happened, Jacob couldn't afford the gym membership and so he canceled his and I was like, well shit, who am I gonna work out with now? Like, what am I fucking gonna do? I was so codependent on other people being with me because I'm just insecure and I'm not confident enough to work out and be in this environment where there's all these huge guys and I'm like this little baby. That's like how I first started out. And honestly, before we even went and got the gym memberships, we went to Chili's and we got two of those giant cookie skillet things and we both just like had those and then right after that we went to the gym as a way to like celebrate like getting in shape or like whatever i don't know it was weird that helped me a lot um as someone who struggles with that type of thing and like doing stuff by yourself or like whatever and then of course it got to the point where jacob couldn't come with me anymore he couldn't pay for his membership whatever it was and so i was like shit Fuck, it's time for me to man up and go to the gym by myself. Just be like lonely and like look, pretend like I know what I'm doing. I didn't really know what I was doing for the first, honestly, probably like the first year or so. I did not want to go touch the free weights, okay? Cause that's where all the huge guys were. That's where, and like this gym, I made a mistake of going to this gym. Like it was a cheap gym. It was like 10 bucks a month and it's called Vasa. It's maybe it's only here in Utah. I don't know. Anyway. I went to Vasa and that gym is packed like a motherfucker because it's so damn cheap, okay? That was a big mistake. You can find a gym that's a little bit more expensive. The gym I go to now is 24 hour fitness. It is like 30 bucks a month and it is like literally like a fraction of, of the amount of people that go to Vasa go to 24 hour fitness just because it's more expensive and it's so worth it, 30 bucks. It's my favorite gym ever, I love it, okay? I guess my next tip would be, get out of your mind, okay? It'll be hard at first, like when you first start working out, you're literally like gonna walk around and like feel super awkward, like are people looking at me? Are they comparing their bodies? Uh, they're really not. Honestly, people at the gym literally just, people, I feel like the gym is just full of like narcissistic people <laughs> who only care about themselves and their own bodies and appearances. Don't worry about it. 
You can be one of those people too, and it's fine. It's good to not have everybody's attention on you. Nobody's gonna be looking at you weird. You'll see like all different types of people at the gym, okay? Everybody is at a different phase in their fitness, in their life. Like you can just do your own thing and just be happy with it, okay? So yeah, don't care what anyone thinks. Everybody's just focused on themselves and you really don't have to worry about that. Okay, that's like the longer you work out, like say at the beginning of your workout, you're feeling like a little insecure or like whatever. If you like get into it, it's like very, like if you take your workout seriously at least, you'll totally get your mind off of those things. And you'll just be like focused on like fucking lifting this heavy ass weight, okay? <laughs> it's fun, honestly, I really like it. The next tip I would say is to find something that you like to listen to and listen to it, okay? When I first started working out, my favorite thing to listen to was true scary stories. If you guys like that type of shit, look up uh, on YouTube, Mr. Nightmare. He tells true scary stories on YouTube and I would just like listen to that while I worked out and it was like the best thing ever. I still do it every once in a while. I like podcasts. I like Shane Dawson's podcast. I like Joe Rogan's podcast. I like all different types of podcasts. Uh, if I'm feeling music, if you like, I've listened to ASMR literally while I'm working out, okay? Like find what you like to listen to and listen to it. Get your mind off of these other fucking people because they don't give a shit about you, okay? <laughs> uh, you should be giving a shit about yourself. The hardest thing is like being consistent enough to get past that first like month or two where you start seeing results. Because after you start seeing results, you'll be motivated by the results you're seeing as opposed to like, you know, uh, it'll just be a lot easier and it'll become like a habit and you'll want to do it. And yeah, then you'll become just a lot more confident uh, in the gym over time. It's like exposure therapy, okay? I think the hardest thing for me that I still struggle with and it still makes me depressed is comparing myself to others, especially on Instagram and at the gym. <laughs> People have perfect bodies and you're gonna be like, why isn't my body like that? Especially after you've been working out for like a year or two and you realize that your body still doesn't look like incredible like that. You're like, okay, how long is it gonna take? I'm never gonna get there. It's okay, it's all part of the journey, okay? Don't worry. Uh, you'll get there. Keep working hard and honestly, <clears throat> if you're like new to this whole working out thing, your diet is really important. I have gotten fat a couple times from bulking, like dirty bulking too much. Uh, if you don't know what that is, it's basically where you're trying to get bigger, but you're not really keeping track of your calories and your macros, which I know sounds like such a pain in the ass. I never thought I would do it. I'm like, that fucking sucks. Why would I want to track my macros and all this nutrient shit? But there's like an app called MyFitnessPal, which helps a lot, okay? And if you ever get to that point where you want to take it that seriously, do it, okay? If not, just eat clean. Uh, you know, if you're, eat like chicken, eat like vegetables. I am bulking right now when I eat like, I have a lot of smoothies, I eat protein pancakes, I eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches and bananas. Like it's easy, okay? It's really not that bad, okay? And I started working out using just machines. And I heard that like it's good to do like four sets of 10 reps and then do like four different exercises, if that makes sense. I used to do like an upper body, lower body day where I would do like do chest and triceps one day and then the next day I would do like legs. Then I'd go to like back and bicep or like whatever. Um, I didn't really know what I was doing and then I would just find machines that like said that they were for that body part and I would like look at the instructions or whatever and just like start doing shit. I got some results. You'll get newbie results if you've like never worked out hardly. Uh, you will like get newbie gains, like you'll gain muscle fast, okay? Um, <clears throat> it gets harder as you like progress, which kind of sucks, but that's just the way life is. Life isn't fair apparently. Yeah, so you can straight up start with machines. You, I wouldn't like recommend it, but that's what I did just cause like I was intimidated to go by the free weights. And as you get more confident with your body and your skills, you can look up like free weight exercises to do and like those are honestly better because they're like compound lifts or whatever so they use multiple joints in your body blah 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 blah, blah and it's better for you okay it'll just make your muscles look a lot better okay the biggest tip i can say in this whole video as tyler joseph once said sometimes to stay alive you gotta kill your mind okay just do it, you know, life is all about taking risks and overcoming your fears. It'll never happen if you don't just do it, you know? And it sucks. I'm someone who struggled with it a lot. You know, take a friend with you, 
Um, figure out like a basic workout routine. Like you'll see results pretty quickly, especially if you're like a beginner. Um, so don't worry about it. Just do it. Um, it'll literally change your life. It changed my life. I've been working out for like two or three years, three years probably now. And I love it. I literally went to the gym this morning and it was great. It's like a stress reliever at that point. Once you get past all the anxiety shit, it's like a stress reliever. Anyway, I hope this video helped somebody like if you're struggling with this type of stuff, like just know you're not alone. There are other people who are also struggling with this stuff and you can do it, I promise. Message me, okay, if you need some motivation. <laughs> and if you guys wanna see like a full on fitness journey video, let me know. We could like talk about everything, like how I work out routine now and like how much I weigh and like my height or like whatever, you know? Experience with bulking and cutting and how I fucked it up a couple times. <laughs> yeah, just let me know and I will try to do that if you guys want it. <sighs> Get your ass to the gym, okay? It's gonna be fine, I promise. It's, it'll be worth it. Your life will be so much better and you'll attract all the babes.